Yo, what up guys, Shiroi here from Just Another Style Channel and today's video is gonna be about Guess and ASAP Rocky. Did I have to wear a Guess hat and a Guess ASAP Rocky tee? No, I did not, but yo, it fits the theme of the video, so why not? First, I'll be talking about the things that I picked up recently from the latest drop. Then I'm gonna go over some stuff from the previous drop that I did not show off because your boy slacks on videos, we all know that. Yeah, I gotta fix that, but let's show those off finally because it's a few months too late, but might as well show it off, right? And then thirdly, I'll be talking about, thirdly is even that thing, okay. Third off, I'll be talking about the pricing and how that's changed and how I got this recent collection for under retail. That's right, under retail. So let's get right into it. I don't know what I'm doing with my fingers. I always do stupid things with my hands. Anyways, let's get into it right now. Okay, so the collection that just dropped was in like September, October, I can't remember the exact dates. It was really random to be honest, like I just got an email from guests saying, oh yeah, it's dropping. And usually they drop it in the States first and they drop it in Canada later. I didn't know it dropped on the same day in all stores because the email only gave me locations for where to pick it up at like US places and I'm from Canada so I'm not going to states to pick it up, I could wait it out. Turns out it dropped and this one actually sat online for quite some time and there was a delay obviously in getting shipping confirmation just like the last order. I know some people got the shipping, did not get a shipping confirmation and did not get a t-shirt because it just delayed as hell. But you know your boy came through with these two, these are the newest additions to the existing striped tee collection by ASAP Rocky. So basically this is like a 90 style tee with a high neck. The first collection came out in this color, the gray and white. The Waldo looking color with the red and white or the candy cane one, whatever you want to call it. And then the navy blue stripes and the white stripes. So those were all pretty basic. The second collection, which I'll show off later, came off in like a cotton candy and a lime green. Kind of like that carnival style colors. And then these ones. First off, and this is the one I'm going to be keeping, so I'll show that one off to you guys. It's kind of has that Milwaukee Bucks color going on. That's the colorway I like to call this one, just because of the green and the purple accents going on over here. This tee retailed for $69 and plus tax, so you're paying about $70 bucks or so for it. And this is the one I'm keeping out of the two colors, because this is the one I like the most and will probably suit me the most compared to the other one that I'm about to show off. And yeah, I can layer this with some, like, a jean jacket on top of it and just wear some black jeans, keep it really simple, throw it back to that 90s style with the jean jacket on top and just give it that black jean look. Really simple, really clean outfit and this color is going to be nice. I am wearing an extra small right now and I sized up to a small. Your boy is growing, yeah, you know, extra small. But then again, these ones are really oversized so this extra small actually fits like a small so you know I'm not that small. Small fits kind of like a true medium would, but I kind of like the more oversized fit these days. So even in an oversized tee, I went one size up because that's just the fit I like. The neck still fits fine if you're transitioning from a small and an extra small. The neck is about the same. So if you're worried about the neck, don't worry about that. It's just going to be the arms that are a little bigger and the t-shirt that's just a little bit wider. And obviously, you have your iconic guess ASAP branding over here it just says guess jeans USA so a lot of you guys don't know these shirts are actually vintage guest tees or they have come out before so you'll see vintage guest tees on the market that just say guest jeans over here embroidered with the USA at the bottom obviously and that's released before because guests and made shirts like these in the 90s and ASAP went back and added his touch to the collection with the two dollar signs here and that is the big difference between the vintage tees and the Guess and ASAP Rocky collection. And then this is the second one over here. I am not going to take it out of the packaging, mainly because I'm going to return this one. I just wanted to bring it out for the video. Yeah, the packaging is promptly. I hope you guys can actually hear me. And yeah, so this is it. The color, I'll bring it up close so you guys can see. This is kind of like that Golden State color. I don't know why they went with NBA colors. This time, well, NBA looking colors, but you know, it's like, but this one is not going to suit me. I'm just gonna look like an overgrown toddler in this one to be honest if I go to Rocket. It's just not my style. This color won't suit me. I'll just look, yeah, I look like an overgrown kid, bro. I look like I'm going to kindergarten, my first day of kindergarten, with a nice little Jansport backpack on with my snacks in it. And this t-shirt here and the overalls. Like, that's what I picture if I was wearing this. It's not a good look on me. So we're not gonna be keeping this one. We're gonna return it. Besides, $69. That's a lot for a t-shirt. But I will be honest, the quality is there. So you're not paying for just a screen printed tee. There's embroidery on it. 
the cotton is a lot heavier and it has that 90s feel to it the mock neck everything so the price is justifiable so that's it for these two over here that's the newest collection that just dropped and now let's get into the ones from the previous collection I returned one of those because Yo, that color would not have suited me at all. But I'll show you the one that I did keep. And I haven't rocked it yet because I never found the time to. Let me just go pick it up for you guys. Alright, so this is the one that I ended up keeping. There was like a lime, like creamsicle looking color. And then there was a the cotton candy one. I think this was known as the cotton candy collab to a lot of people. This is the gas cotton candy tea over here. This one was the more hype colorway out of the two. And in every collection, this gray one happens to restock. So everyone has this gray one. It's nothing special. But the pricing was the same, if I'm not mistaken. This one was also... This one was $79. Jeez, so they really switched up the pricing. So let's touch on that after. But get your guest tags over here. Why am I still having this in the packaging? Yeah, that's how long this t-shirt's been sitting in a bag. Like, I haven't worn it. Like, I've tried it on and I just put it back in the bag and I'm pulling it out for the video right now. So, as you guys can see, it's a lighter color. It's a more spring, summertime color. That's why I'm not going to be rocking it in the fall season. I'll whip it out in the springtime. To flex on people, you know, it is what it is. Is it dirty? Did I get the shirt dirty already? Am I trying to? Ah, right, whatever. Anyways. Um, yeah, so you got the same guest branding over here, uh, the guest dollar signs over there instead of the regular S's. The color is a lot lighter and I just wear this. You can wear this with some white jeans and it'll be a really clean look for the spring summertime. It's not spring summer right now, so with the tags, dead stock, still sitting. Well, it got a little stain on the inside. I don't know how I got that, but anyways, just so you guys can see it, um, this one's a small as well and the tagging on the inside also. Let me see if that focuses for you guys. Can I focus? Wow, this does not want to cooperate today. Come on, pick up. I guess it does not want to pick up, but it basically has your guest originals tag on the inside and it has the dollar signs to indicate that it is from the guest ASAP Rocky collection. So guest does have a guest originals collection as well which basically has your regular capsule stuff from stuff released in the 90s. They retroed it and brought it back. Tommy Hilfiger has done the same now. A few other brands are going back to retro styles and bringing out retro looks. And this is their ASAP Rocky collection. And then you got the regular collection with uh, not as hype things. It's just regular stuff. If you like it, you like it. I own a few. I actually used to work for guests. So, And just a quick note, guest employees do not get discounts on guest ASAP Rocky merchandise so we all pay retail and the story I'm about to tell you about how I got it for under retail is not as an employee this is after I worked there and I'm just gonna show you guys how to finesse the system when ordering online so let's get into that so the first thing I kept this tag from this first t-shirt this is from the indigo multi so this is from the blue one and basically the price on this one when it first came out so I'm gonna read you guys the price of the first collection so first hype they guess didn't know how hype this collection would be they didn't know how valuable asap would be to the brand and the price on the shirt was 59 dollars so 59 dollars and then the pinkish and bluish one i showed you it's a tri-color one maybe that's why they bumped up the price it does not justify it at all for having three colors instead of two but they bumped that one up to 79 dollars now that was when like the collection was at its peak like the first collection was good a lot of people cashed out at first a lot of people didn't know what was going on with the collection so they had no idea what to expect in terms of retail or anything like that few people didn't even know the collection was available till it was completely sold out so in that sense like guests did not know i don't know what i was doing there guests does not know what to do with the pricing so 59 bucks for the first one they realized they could cash out so they did 79 dollars on the second collection and then on this most recent one for the striped tees you have it for 69 dollars so i guess they realized they bumped up the price too high and they marked it down 10 bucks which is still 10 dollars over the original collection but you know it's still closer to the original than the second collection was and I hope that the t-shirts stay in the range of 59 to 69 because it is not worth it to pay $79 for a tee and I just kept that one because honestly like I had a lot of these and I kind of had a little collection going on and not just because I worked I guess and like this second collection was well after when I worked I guess 
I just kind of liked it. I had a collection going and yo, it was hype. I thought I could do a little photo shoot with it. Never got around to doing it, so I'll pull it out. I'll make it happen in the spring, summertime. So I'll just be sitting in my closet till then, but whatever. It set me back 79 bucks. It's light. It's no big deal because I had a job, <laughs> but it's whatever. It paid the bills, all that stuff, and it got me some swag. So, like this ASAP stuff. Anyways, before I start rambling on, so this is how I got the most recent collection. Actually, I got this collection too. You're right. I did not pay retail for this one as well. So I got this one over here and this one over here for under retail. So how I managed to make that happen is that when you order online, they allow you to put in an SPC code, so a student pricing card, or if you sign up for guests for the first time, what you'll be able to do is create an account and you'll get 15% off your first order and free shipping. Same thing applies for the student pricing discount. So technically, these are not able to be used with that discount. But the problem is when you enter that promotion code online, um, it usually processes it and you will get the cheaper price and what happens is is that the system will still charge you regular price so before on your subtotal it'll show the discount screenshot it keep it for your personal record and when you check out you'll be charged regular price and the discount will disappear like it never happened and when you go from that checkout page basically you're going to keep all that you're going to get the shipping confirmation all that stuff and you're going to call up customer service and you're just going to go on the phone and you're gonna pretend to be like a little frugal customer you're gonna be like yo what's up i ordered this item and it accepted the discount and they're gonna tell you they're gonna be on the phone with you they're gonna listen to your problems they're gonna listen to you cry and be like yo 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 didn't accept my money charge me full price yada 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 and they're gonna be like let me see what i can do for you they're gonna put you on hold they're gonna come back and be like unfortunately sir the asap rocky collection is not included because it's a special promotion and there this code is not applicable to it yada 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 you're gonna listen to all that technical stuff and then when you pick up <laughs> and then when you're still on the phone i don't know why you pick up the phone again and then you're gonna tell them the following you're just gonna tell them but it accept the code i completely understand if this promotion is not included but it did not say anywhere when applying this code that this is excluded from promotions. So it accepted the code for me and it valued, it honored the discount for me on the subtotal and then I check out it charged me full price. That's very misleading as a customer and I did not appreciate that and all that good stuff. Yo, this is the inner brown me talking here. I'm just giving you guys some good advice. <laughs> I don't know why I had to say I was brown, but anyways, yeah. So yeah, that's the inner little frugal brown me talking over here. And yeah, you will get honored that 15% off and free shipping. And you know, 15% off doesn't sound like a lot, but on these tees here, it adds up. So I paid about $50, 55 bucks tax included for this one. This one was a little more in savings. I think 60 bucks taxing, something, something around those ranges. I paid tax included, 13% tax really screws you over. But oh, it is what is light. It basically takes up tax for you, so you're paying close to the retail and like four or five dollars under retail, so it's not too, too bad. And if you order a lot of items, so if you want to just finesse the system and you have just a student pricing card, you don't want to sign up for emails, what you can do is just take the student pricing card, add that to your card, but add multiple things to your card because as soon as your order reaches over a hundred dollars, you're qualified for free shipping and just take your stuff back to guests and return whatever you're not keeping. You don't have to pay for shipping after that. So that's a good way to finesse the system, get free shipping, get your stuff delivered to your door without paying $13 extra on a $79 t-shirt. And yeah, so that's how you finesse the system. Let's say you get some hype things over here. Yeah, I don't even know how I'm gonna rock this, how this color is gonna look on me. I haven't even tried it on yet. But yeah, this is how you get the hype things for a little less than retail. That's just a quick tip. And yeah, that basically concludes the video for today. Thank you guys for watching. I know I slack so much on these things. Like this is not even gonna be hype when I upload it. Like it's gonna be in the past now. Eddie Wynn did his video on this like a week or two ago and I was like, yo, like I'm slacking. Like I haven't seen much on the new collection drop though. I've seen Eddie Wynn post this video besides that. Not a lot of people have paid attention to it. I covered the original collection before but I never covered the like the creamsicle one and the other one but shout out to eddie win bro great person out there i'm such a small like youtuber in terms of subscriber count but people like him post genuine videos genuine reviews and yeah like i believe he's keeping the same color as well and yeah honestly like it's a sick colorway it honestly looks dope and before i conclude this video make sure to follow my spotify playlist that i'm about to pull up like i'm some like 
incredible person. It's a vibe. Make sure to Yo, I don't know why this autofocus is not working today, but it's a vibe. Make sure to go follow that on Spotify. That is my playlist for this channel, and that's the one that I listen to and vibe out to in my spare time. I'm at the gym, I'm driving, and I have the aux control, you know, aux cord in my control. This is the tune, this is the playlist that I'm using when I'm not on Rap Caviar and Hip Hop Central and all the other stuff. So go follow that, link will be down in the description to follow the playlist. And once again, thank you guys, I appreciate you guys for rocking with me for so long, sticking it out, watching this video to the end. Means a lot for every subscriber I have. I know I'm not a regular uploader, I would like to be sun setting right now, I don't want to lose the lighting and make this video trash. So thank you guys, really means a lot to me that you're watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.